We're speaking this morning with Dr. Thomas Levy, board certified cardiologist and author of a number of books, including Curing the Incurable, which is a book that talks a lot about vitamin C. Dr. Levy, could you explain to us how you came to be interested in it? Well, it's interesting because if you just ask the person on the street and ask them, is vitamin C important? And they say, sure, I know all about vitamin C. And it's true, vitamin C is good, and it's a vitamin, and we know it prevents scurvy. But what so many people don't realize, and this was the point of the book, is the phenomenal effects vitamin C can have on health when used in much higher doses than just the minimal dose that's the recommended daily allowance to prevent scurvy uh, and having that deficiency disease. I first became acquainted, if you will, with vitamin C in about 1995. I was working as a cardiologist in Colorado Springs, and I came to be acquainted with a maverick dentist by the name of Dr. Hal Huggins. And he invited me over to his clinic, which he later uh, asked me to be a medical consultant to his clinic. And what I saw just was very amazing, unsettling to my traditional training. I can't think of all the proper words. I saw a whole range of incredibly sick patients, patients that were wheelchair bound, uh, ALS, Alzheimer's, different chronic degenerative diseases. And I saw these incredibly ill and frail patients getting hours of extensive dental work. Doesn't matter what it was, teeth extracted, whatever had to be done, but we all know how incredibly taxing just getting dental work done, much less sitting in a dental chair for two, three, four hours uh, and having the architecture of your mouth rearranged. But what I noticed was after all this was done, patients were feeling so well they wanted to go out and eat a steak that night on their 10 remaining teeth rather than just go home and go to bed. That fast they were noticing? That fast. And, and I said, well, I'm sure it's good to get toxins out of your body, but, but why is this happening so quick? And Dr. Huggins just pointed to the IV. And all these patients are receiving anywhere from 35 to 50 grams of vitamin C intravenously before, during, and after their dental work. And then I said, wow, vitamin C? Just, just like a lay person, well, I know vitamin C is good for you, but taking it by vein? And that basically began my own personal pathway and research on vitamin C up to the point where uh, we've come to seeing these two most recent books, Curing the Incurable and Stop America's Number One Killer. So I came to realize that vitamin C and other antioxidants can have enormous benefit for many people, typically vastly more important, in my opinion, my clinical opinion, than any prescription medicines most people are on.